Hello, I talked about VR before and I thought it might be nice to give you some kind of demonstration to see how it feels like to actually experience the virtual reality in architecture, how we imagine doing it. Normally we would do it on this TV behind me and we have a desktop designated for that with a very strong graphic card. But I want to demonstrate to you that you do not really need such a strong computer. I'm actually going to do on my laptop, which is a fairly average gaming laptop, let's say. And it will be just a small preview of what is possible because the possibilities are really immense. What you basically will see on your screen is this little small prepared menu. We can uh, have a menu as you know it from any video games like we can uh, set up any kind of resolution, graphical settings, audio settings and so on and so on. In our case, of course, I didn't want to complicate things. I just made it very simple. I just made two little scenarios in a very small apartment. One is daylight, one is night mode, and you will see both of them. So if I press here, we will simply start with the first person mode that you know from uh, video games if you play them. What you see here are some hands that are remained when I was testing the VR with these joysticks. They are gonna become hands that you will see later. I just move them. And what I want to show you is that you can walk through the room, you can have some videos or animations playing, and you can look around. You can of course interact with it, which I will show you in a moment, but I will show you that in VR because that is what I want to demonstrate. I just want to show you that because we are using a game engine, we can switch from first person to actually to third person, walk around, do whatever you are used to doing in any of the video games. You can do the same here, it's very easy. So what we're going to do now is we're going to uh, switch to the VR. I'm gonna press a button and as you will see, the moment I start moving this headset, everything will start moving. So let's see what we can do in VR. Now I will take my joysticks, let's see if they work, they work and as you can see I already accidentally changed the material of the floor, it's one thing that I wanted to show you. What I did is basically I programmed uh, this trigger button on the joystick so that when I press this trigger button I can change the material of the object that I'm looking at at the moment. You will also notice that it takes like one, two seconds for the material to load. That is the downside of this laptop on our desktop with a very good graphic card. This takes just milliseconds and it's not noticeable. As far as the movement goes, I can move around a little bit and you can usually uh, set up the sensors in a very big room with five or even 10 meter diagon diagonal. So you can actually walk around the room. Here I don't have so much space so I will have to be restrained, but there are other ways of moving, actually preferable ways of moving, which is teleportation. I can teleport myself wherever I want using these buttons on the joystick. I can still change materials of this image. I can get down. I can change the material of this sofa. Let's say turn it into a leather sofa and then change a bit the floor to see how they both fit together try uh, different combinations and I can use my teleport to go back into the other room and maybe back into the bed, uh, bedroom, bathroom and change the walls into tiles to see how that fits. You see there is no reflection, only my hands, but that can be programmed as well. And some objects can be made to be grabbable, like this one. I can put it down and I set up some other objects here that I can simply grab and do whatever I want with them, like throw them. Some laptop, some candle holder, that all goes to the floor. And of course I can change materials of other objects. Let's turn this into a brick New York style apartment or into a rugged light concrete one. I set up a couple of materials here, of course uh, I can set up a menu which I will show you later and I can have 200 materials if I want to. The cool thing is that I can teleport myself and choose also the orientation 
that I will be facing after the teleportation if I want to. And the cool thing is that I don't get only to change the materials of objects, but I can actually switch objects or swap objects and test them to see what fits better into my interior. This is, of course, a simple example of a chair swap, but I could swap other parts of the furniture. I could go to this little architectural model here, realize it's grabbable, throw that away, and I could keep playing around in this space, changing materials and seeing what fits me. I will show you in the future, I can easily change channels, change materials, I could make it rain, snow, be sunny, and so and on and so on. But, what's, but what I want to show you now is that with a simple click, I can go into the night mode that I prepared, which is the same room, except for the lighting. As you can see, I did a little bit of different lighting. I can still do the same things. I can change the materials. I can change the, uh, swap the chairs, swap objects. This floor is a bit too reflective for the night scenario, I think. And the cool thing I can do is I can make all sorts of different animations and interac interactions. Look at now what happens if I press a button. I don't have a fireplace in this apartment, so this is how I thought of demonstrating that you can do different types of animations. I can already, fit the, uh, I can already feel the heat here. And you can still keep changing your materials and see how they look like while they're burning, if that's interesting for you. We can also go now to the bathroom so that I can show you that you can, for example, on a click of a button, also turn on and off lights, different lights. Here is a little small emitting blue light. And I could have done this with any of the lights in this apartment. I just did this as a small demonstration, but, but you can easily imagine me turning on and off any of these light bulbs or even these uh, lights here that have IES profiles. And again, as I said, you shouldn't forget that we are in a game engine, so you can do the same thing that we were doing right now in the third person or in the first person. You can see, I can come here, turn off this light, I can go there, start this fire, and I can do the same thing in the first person. Hope this illuminates a little bit how VR works in architecture or, and what we can do with it. This is just a very, very, very small and simple demonstration. The changing of the materials is very basic. What you saw, for example, is we exchanged five, six uh, materials of the floor and I programmed it so that it's fast, so that I literally press the trigger and loop through them. But I can easily program a menu that you can open with 300 materials if you want so that you can choose from them and from 300 different animation if you want uh, animations if you want fire if you want water if you want different tv channels and so on of course everything that you can imagine or see in a video game so that's it for this VR demonstration i will show you more in the future subscribe share this video and get back to work and at the end of the day if you just want to test something you can wait for something unpredictable to happen and test it a little bit how it looks it's remarkable the level of detail you can get from things like this and it's very interesting of course you won't want monsters in your architecture but take this as a template and imagine whatever you want inside of your apartment of course, I will show you uh, soon how to generate rain, snow and different effects. And if you want to test how a party would look like in your apartment or if you could be able to move at all with 10, 15 people around, then you can do that as well.